Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be customizing this little Matchbox Cadillac 60s Special. And these were produced from 1960 until 1965, so quite an oldie. I think this was the 62 to 65 version. See, it's a bit scuffed up and play-worn. The old style wheels on it there, no interior, but it's all there. The windscreen isn't broken, so a great candidate for a restoration probably, but I'm going to be customizing my one. So there's two posts there to drill out. Then I can pop the base off. So there's just the windscreen there, but that's riveted in. So I'll have to drill that out as well, making sure that I don't drill right through the roof. Just want to take the little edge off of the post. And there's the windscreen. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the wheels. The rear ones didn't even have the ends mushroomed over because the body was holding them on. And I'm not going to be reusing these, so I can just cut that axle and take off the front ones. And I'm going to be lowering it as well, so while I'm at it, I'll cut off these little axle casings underneath. I use some paint stripper to strip the paint off of the castings. There they are with the paint washed off. And I've also used a file just to flatten off the base a bit where I cut those axle holders off. Then I give the castings a good clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel. And here they are looking all nice and shiny. So these are the wheels I'm going to be replacing the old ones with. Come out of the bag there. There they go. And you'll notice that they're a lot fatter than the original wheels. And they're sticking out past the sides of the base. So I use my Dremel and a file to cut the wheel wells in a bit deeper. So they're going to fit the new wider wheels. I pretty much just had to cut in to where the little arches were that were holding the old axles in. And then I put some new axle casings in these are above the base whereas the old axles were underneath it. Here I've drilled and tapped the posts so I can put the car together with some little screws later on. And there's also some really annoying casting lines on this body here. And that one across the bonnet. So I spent a little while with my needle file and some sandpaper got rid of those the best that I could. Okay, so there's the front end and the other casting lines tidied up a bit. Now it's time for some paint. I start off with some black primer. Then I gave it a couple of coats of silver. 
and that is because I'm going to be painting it a nice candy blue. And there it is after a few coats of the candy blue. Next I paint in all the chrome details and such. Just using some silver paint there. I've also painted in the lights, the tail lights there. I hit the base with some black primer and then silver underneath. And then I've put the wheels on. So that's really just to pop onto the body. And finally, there's this grubby old windscreen. I thought it might be a bit scuffed. But I just gave it a wash with some water and it's looking pretty good just like that. Couldn't just leave it like that, but I gave it a quick polish with some plastic polish as well. So there, I don't know if it's looking any better, maybe a little bit. So there's all of the hard work done and here's the three parts of our Matchbox Cadillac 60 special been customized and ready to go back together. So while I'm reassembling it let's just take a quick look back at what we started with. Here's our scruffy little Cadillac. To be honest I'm not keen on that lilac colour. So let's see how it looks after our makeover. Here it is, finished custom Matchbox Cadillac 60 Special. It's actually a 1958 Cadillac Model 60. So I've stripped it down, given it a good tidy up, and a nice candy blue repaint. Looking a bit more like a street machine now. It's been lowered, got those nice new aftermarket wheels on it, and of course a jolly good clean up on the windscreen. So I'm really pleased with how this has come out. I've had this car sitting around for a while, and as I said, I'm not keen on that lilac. I don't think it did much for it. So instead of a standard restoration, I think it's going to fit much better in my collection looking like this. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, a massive thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. Check out the links down below if you want to help out as well or get some cheap glue. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff.